My brothers and sisters in Christ, a happy Shrove Tuesday to all of you, uh, a day known by, uh, by some as Fat Tuesday, this day on the threshold of Ash Wednesday and the beginning of our Lenten observances. Today's readings are those of the, se- of the Tuesday of the seventh week in ordinary time, which in fact is not always but immediately before Ash Wednesday. And yet, the readings are a very good preparation for the upcoming Lenten observances. They are for us a reminder, first of all, that we should be preparing even now. We shouldn't wait until Lent is already here to decide how we'll approach it, what penances might be meaningful, how we can use the season well. And what does it mean to use the season well? Well, we need to look only about what the season is for. It is a time of particular chastening, of self-emptying and penance as we prepare ourselves for the Easter mysteries, a time to turn our hearts back to the Lord and away from worldly things and inordinate self-love. And so we hear in today's gospel the ongoing conversation between Jesus and his disciples. Even as Jesus continues to talk about his cross, things such as humility, suffering, his disciples still don't get it. They're haggling about who's the greatest. They're thinking they have it made, that they, the teacher, is the king to come and his closest friends, therefore, will enjoy all the benefits of being associates, of friends, of the one in power. Jesus is trying to share that that's not the way it will be. In fact, that to be his disciple means sharing in his suffering and, in fact, lowering ourselves, humbling ourselves. And so, in the first reading, in this very practical wisdom we hear, we, we hear the need in, in a different voice for the same thing, this humbling of heart and to embrace the suffering that will come. In fact, being treated as, as those, if you will, in the furnace, those who are being tried by fire, purified in this way. And this is a wonderful way to think of the Lenten season. The Lenten season is not suffering for suffering's sake. That's a misnomer sometimes of our faith. The point isn't to to do something just to to beat ourselves up or to feel bad about ourselves. Instead, it's a way that we embrace penance as a way of getting away, getting out of ourselves. Or as a colloquial, colloquial expression might say, we need to get over ourselves. It's a season in which we put aside the things that we give inordinate attention to, the ways in which we embrace and self love, all the things that we put ahead of God and our neighbor. And so, it's a time for simplicity, for purification, and for being stripped down, so that we may have greater fidelity to the gospel and to love of God and neighbor. And so, I hope, my brothers and sisters, that today can be a day of much fun and rejoicing, as is typical of this last day before Lent, a reminder that we have candlelight adoration at the, the parish tonight, and following in the wonderful tradition, we'll have the Pancake Social at the Cathedral Center uh, right afterwards uh, as the, a, a traditional way of, of celebrating uh, the, the last day before Ash Wednesday. So we hope you can join us for that as a time of prayer and intentional preparation. But even if not, that you will spend today, yes, having fun, perhaps enjoying some of those things that you'll even give up during the Lenten season. But more than anything, that you'll spend it well in preparing with intentionality the time to come so that this Lenten season may be truly fruitful and that you may realize the joy of Easter in a way you never have before. May God bless you all.